I'll skip Matt Sack from SEALs. We're going to talk about grommet SEALs. Firewall grommet SEALs came to my attention when Todd Gordon, current crew chief for Joey Logano, gave me a call a number of years ago and said, you know what, you could take your axle seal, put the right size hole in it, and you could make a heck of a piece. So we started by an aluminum bezel, and if you notice, the cross section of it has a bump on one side, flat on the other. Why is that? Well, if you cut exactly this size hole, it fits right in place. If you've got a whoops, you can put this side over it and move it wherever you want. Now, how does it work? A hose such as this, this is a what, dash six or eight? Yes. Dash six. This hose passes through quite nicely, a little bit of effort, but as you can see, it goes right down around the hose, it seals it and keeps any uh, fire, any smoke, hot water, any of these things out of the driver's compartment. John? Absolutely, We've uh, that's been tested many times in all, all facets of racing. The biggest thing from a driver's standpoint is the smoke. A lot of times they'll put big holes in there, they'll change engines, they'll change this, and they keep enlarging the hole, and, and any little smoke the driver you can't see could be a crash. Yeah. Speaking of some of those holes, sometimes they need to have a customizable application. Exactly. Depending on the size that's needed. So if they're all three the same dimension, they can make that work or vary the and sizes as needed. Right, and here's three more in a different design. Whatever the engineers come to us for and say, look, this is our package, this is the way we want to package it, we come up with something. Now we have some various other sizes of seals, very small. This is a hat seal, extends, goes back in. These are used on uh, uh, police cars up in Canada. A little small cone, again a small one. And John, maybe you could explain this one. <laughs> all these, these holes, this one is for throttle shafts and all kinds of shaft materials. It allows it to articulate, go up and down. A lot of times shaft go through a range of motion. This allows this to go up and down, still stay sealed. Same with this for wiring, start here, depending on the amount of wires it go through, it can come back and do a multiple of applications. In fact, the farther back you cut the uh, angle, the bigger the opening. Absolutely. What else do we have here, Carrie? Well, we have a, another application that can be used in a tight pinch. Exactly. If you don't have the ability to um, put in the piece as one piece, this has been fabricated in such a way that you can piece it together exactly. and still keep the seal intact. Yep. So this is a, a split grommet seal. It can go around a fixed apparatus that cannot be taken out or moved. So a perfect situation. Roll cage. Some, some, yeah, roll cage. Some. Steering linkage. This piece, uh, frankly, I don't remember what we did this one for. You know, we've got somewhere around 2,000 part numbers, and it's tough to remember them all. And that's true. We do have about 2,000 part yes. numbers. But again, a, a special application for different things. Now, our latest piece, which we think is going to have a real impact on racing both dirt and asphalt, this is going to be a Nerf bar seal. And if you notice how we've trimmed it all the way around for weight, when the inch-and-a-half diameter Nerf bar goes through the sheet metal, and if one were running a very, very fast track looking for aerodynamics, it would be so important to have not a gap around that Nerf bar. Well, if you rub the Nerf bar or bump into the other guy, and that can happen, and that Nerf bar bends, it's going to buckle the sheet metal, ruin your aerodynamics, ruin your vinyl, ruin your paint job. So with this hole, this one and three-eighths hole, which will clamp around the inch and a half diameter, Nerf bar, it's going to allow some movement and it won't bend up your sheet metal. What a great idea. Again, from Seals It. This, uh, was this the fuel pump seal that we did for the uh, DEI group years ago? It started out, then the battery for when they change batteries, they have to pull the sure. plug, a large plug with a small wire to seal. And, and all the time, the, the biggest enemy for any of the seals or rubber products is a razor blade. We absolutely do not recommend razor blades. And as any other product, when you get into a shear factor, you get into a stress fracture, if you have to put a slot in it, try to put a small hole on each side to deter that from tearing all the way out. It's rubber, it will tear. Uh, a lot of guys, we have a, a punch kit available from Seals It that has various size holes. We've used it with IndyCar teams on aero tubing for aero on their front suspension, the A-arms. They literally take the aero tubing, grind a sharp edge just on a bench grinder, put it on a block of wood, snag it, perfect hole. It's in another configuration. And for you engineers out there that have something special that you want to make, here's a stainless steel piece affixed to a grommet seal. This is a special design 
for a special customer. End of story.